Okay, good morning. <clears throat> I'm going to read out of Psalm 25, verses 16 through 21. It says, Turn to me and have mercy, for I am alone and in distress. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. See how many enemies I have and how viciously they hate me. Protect me. Rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced, for in you I take refuge. May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. You know, for years, the debate between um, perception and reality has taken place in philosophical circles. In the early 1700s, George Berkeley posed the question regarding sensory perception. You've probably heard the question. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? It produces waves, but if the ear isn't there to receive the waves, is there an actual sound? Political strategist Lee Atwater, back in the 1980s, succinctly put into words what many long have felt and practiced. He said, perception is reality. You know, when reading a passage like this, where we look in Psalm 25 and the psalmist is saying what he, what he says here, our perception may differ from reality, but it is our perception that ultimately stirs us to action. I mean, consider it with me. My problems may not actually be going from bad to worse, but if I perceive that they are, then I'll respond accordingly. In reality, I may not be surrounded by enemies, but if I perceive that I am, that's what's going to stir my reaction. Now, here's the important part, okay? It is absolutely critical for the believer to grasp this. Okay? Whether it's perception or reality is irrelevant. That's right. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Whether it's perception or reality is irrelevant. Why? Because either way, perception or reality, I need to bring my worries to the Lord. That's what the psalmist is telling us. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling us through his word. I feel alone, whether I am alone or not. So, Lord, turn to me. I feel like my problems go from bad to worse. So, Lord, save me. I have pain and trouble. So, Lord, forgive me. I perceive that I'm surrounded by enemies, whether I am or not. Lord, protect me whether it's perception or reality, like the psalmist, we need to say in our hearts, I put my hope in you. Pray with me. Lord, whether I really am surrounded by enemies or not, I still turn to you. whether my problems actually are getting worse and worse or not. I still want to cling to you. Lord, often in my heart, I perceive that I am filled with pain and sorrow. And I turn to you. Lord, this day, we 
would you remind us that regardless of whether it's what I perceive or it's in actuality, it is real, that I need to bring my cares, my sorrows, my worries, my grief to you. Knowing that your shoulders are big enough to carry all that I bring, all that we bring together. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.